afternoon baseball here on the show. It's the home opener of this new season between the Razorbacks and the Bulldogs. Folks around here in high spirits. Matt Vaskersian with you on a day that's been circled on their calendars since about midwinter. I'm joined by Dan Plezak. And Dan, as we get things going this season, it's pitching that has to be key if this team's going to have success. Just like any team, pitching is going to be a key factor for this ball club as the year plays out. I'm sure the staff will have its ups and downs, but if they can pitch like they can, I think this team is going to be pretty successful. Into the box, Curtis Washington. And we are ready for some daytime baseball. Curtis. First pitch of the at-bat. And he'll power in a fastball that time at 94 for strike one. Dan D. Rowe, we take a look at our home nine as they take the field here today. They'll look to make it three straight here as they come in on the heels of two straight wins. Yeah, Maddie, a lot of things trending in the right direction for this team. They won their last game. They scored a bunch of runs. And let's see if they continue that today. Now the one and one pitch. The temperature here at game time still definitely on the cool side. 51 degrees at first pitch. And here's a ball hit in the air. But this will land out there just foul. Bouncer up the middle. Fielded cleanly. And there's one away. That exactly. The left field. Matt. Good Rick. Set to get his day started. Matt. Goodrich, and it's been a real struggle for him with the bat so far this year. Looking to get things turned around in a hurry. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Hey. And set up behind the dish is Gary Simmons, as you see the rest of our umpiring crew there. Dero, this Gary Simmons, he's the kind of umpire that pitchers really like to throw to. Yeah, I'm okay with it, though, Dan. You want to go east-west, I'll make the adjustment. It's the north-south that'll kill you. That's the ball. Not close with that one. It's way above the strike zone. Bases are empty, one man out. And he swings on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. Grounded down the third baseline, but foul. Here he comes again, one, two. And that one misses badly. It's ball two. Tough to take a pitch like that right there, especially in a one, two count. You almost get in that auto swing mode. Great job to work the count back to even. And it's fouled away. Keeps fighting him off. The eighth pitch of the at-bat coming up. And another foul ball. Good eye to lay off the slider there, and he works it to full three and two here. Hey, this has been an epic at-bat right here. I don't blame the pitcher for a little nibbling right there. Maybe get a swing and a miss. He didn't bite on that one, so now we go full count. Now the three and two pitch. And he ball lays four, off here, ball four, and he'll become the game's first base runner here with one away. It's all a part of learning how to pitch in the big leagues. Major league hitters will right not field. bail you out by swinging Herman. at pitches out of the zone. So, so he's going to have to continue to learn how to get guys out at this level. Set to get his day started, Herman Kurowski. And it's been a real struggle for him with the bat so far this year. Looking to get things turned around in a hurry. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Oh, right there. The 1-0. 2-0. 
This is a spot you really don't want to be in with a great hitter like that. You can't just lay one in there, but you also don't want to run the count to 3-0. He's going, he's Runners going. Runners off for second. In there, now the throw. In time as he just gets the tag down. They're showing they're not afraid to be aggressive on the base pass so far in this one. But we'll see if this caught stealing slows that down a bit. Managers never like to run into out, so they might play it a little safer going forward. Into the windup, here's the 2-1 and one pitch. Now a ball fouled down the right field line out of play, so that'll move the count to 2-2 two and two now. Hit down the line at first, but this is going to be a foul ball as that keeps things at 2-2. Two and two. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. Ramey out of the state of Arkansas is on the hill here. What do we need to know here, Danny? Well, with a guy like him, you're just looking for quality innings. Usually he'll give you six or seven, and he keeps the team in the ball game. But when you think about it, what else do you really want from your starter? He's capable of shutting a team down and dominating, but that's not what's expected of him all the time. And he'll take strike one on the fastball, registering at 93 that time. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Hey. And he'll try and tempt him with one in the dirt, but he'll hold back here. It's 1 and 2. Swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first out. Man, I love watching a pitcher that just rears back and blows smoke by a second. guy at the letters. Not that's the stop. ultimate challenge pitching. Yeah. For me personally, Shepard. watching hitters swing and miss, man, that's a sight of beauty. At the plate, Cam Shepard. As he'll look that's at a breaking final. ball that misses for ball one. And he's looking to get it going. Off to a bit of a slow start this year. Into his windup. Here comes the 1-0. Oh, that's out. Going to be a long day if he executes like this. Punching tickets right out of the gate. 2-0 count. The pitch. Hey! You know, he fell behind 2-0, Matty, but he battled right there and got right back in this count. An aggressive fastball middle of the zone. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Kurowski is there and he'll bring this one in. Batting third. The right fielder. Number 20. Standing in, Chauncey Rogers. He'll get to take his first cuts here. And now pitch on the way. Pulled high in the air out to right field. Kurowski is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. And inning in the books, no score here on the show. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Casey Martin. He'll start things out here in a tie ball game. Casey. Martin. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Aye. Very rarely does a pitcher like this leave one in a location like that. That's a pitch right there he'd like to have back. He'd love to swing at that one again. Here's the 0-1. Aye. In there, and he's in control 0-2 now. Hey, I love the aggressive nature this guy's pitching with. He's got focus. He's commanding the fastball, really being aggressive right now. A lot different than his last start where he took a loss and seemed timid and scared to attack the zone. Can't quite get around in time to keep it fair, and it remains 0-2. And 
a good bite to that slider as he swings through it for the first out of the inning. Another strikeout for him on the mound, and boy, is it fun to watch him go about his business. The catch. Ah, no doubt, Casey. Manny. He's one of my favorites, 14. mostly because of his stuff. You know, he can absolutely dominate on any given day because of what he offers up there. It's just nasty. There aren't many hitters that like to see this guy on the mound. In now, Casey Ortiz. Swing, and there it goes. He got all of that ball. Gone! No surprise with that swing of the bat. This guy is simply one of the best in the game right now. There's not too many guys that take a beautiful hack like that in the league. Stepping in now, Christian Franklin. This will go yeah. after the first pitch and bounce Frank it into Blair. foul territory. He's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. Into the windup, here comes the 0 1. Hey. Working quickly now as the splitter's in there, 0 and 2. High in the air down the right field line. But this is just going to wind up being a foul ball. The 0 2 once more. One ball, two strikes, the count. Neither guy willing to give in, and the at bat will continue. The next 1 2 pitch. Ball Breaking two. ball that time that misses out of the zone. Two and two. Seventh pitch of the at-bat coming up. Now that ball is smoked. Carrying to deep left. Gone! Back-to-back -back homers. A solo shot here to left. Home run number three here in the early going as it's now a 2-0 ball game. Another excellent swing right there. That's multiple home runs in the same inning. Watch yourself. You're missing over the heart of the plate. Batting to the batting. plate now. Robert the Moore. Hit. Batting hey, left-handed here as he takes Four. a look at strike one. And he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. Wind up and the 0 1. Oh, could it be three in a row? Going back is the right fielder, but he won't get there as it lands just shy of the wall. And he's in there easily at second with a one out double. That was a great job of driving that ball, extending his arms very well, was able to get it over the right fielder's head, one hopping it off the wall for an easy double. That's one of those solid hits that you don't even feel coming off the bat. Into the box now, Jacob Nesbitt, as he swings and misses at a first pitch fastball, 0 and 1. And he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. He's set, here's the 0 1. Here's a breaking ball, but it doesn't quite find the strike zone. And they'll run this one in on him and he can't connect so he finds himself down one and two now well that's a jam shot right there that's as good as it gets in my opinion Woo! up and in here he comes on a ball and two strikes nope. lays off two and two now two ball. more two the runner at second with one away just out in front of that one still two and two
And this ball is crushed deep down the right field line. But this will land foul shy of the wall. Slider laid off for a ball. These are the kind of A-Bs, regardless of the outcome, you go back to the dugout as an offensive player, and your teammates are loving on you for making that pitcher work and battling it out. And he finally wins the battle as this is swung on and missed for the second out. Talk about blown it by a guy. Jeez, I mean, that fastball was that way behind him when the, the swing came thing. through the zone. I oh. have to think he was looking for something oh, off speed, and he just couldn't pull the trigger on that fastball. So now to the plate, Cole Austin, and he fouls this one off. He's ready for his first at-bat of this early season contest. Oh, and one here it comes. Nope, up there. Two out here and a runner at second. Oh, they have him looking awfully confused up there right now. It's one and two. Made him look silly with that one. The one-two. Is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. So two runs come across here, both coming via the solo home run. On now to the bottom of the second. The Razorbacks lead this one two to nothing. Last half of the second Leading set to go. And next will be a speed no thread field. in the form of outfielder Turner, Turner Bradley. Bradley. Hey, we're still in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs. But it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. So the leadoff man reaches base to start out their half of the second inning. Batting fifth. A nice leadoff That's single to start the second right there. Romo. They're already down. they got to find Here a way to get. stay on the attack and get back in this game. We'll see how they play it here. Into the box, Ramon Jernigan. Hot shot down the line. There's one. Out. On to first, He's and out. they get the double play. Batting fifth, the catcher, Cade Fowler. So base is empty now after the double play, and that'll bring in the first-year catcher, Cade Fowler. The pitch. Ah. All one's the count. Ready with the 0-2. Good job of holding up on the low ball there, and it's 1-2. and two. You know, he's had a very economical start out there. Got through the first inning on just nine pitches, and he's got a chance to keep it in single digits again here in the second. Two out, nobody on. Hit hard down the line, but this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at 1-2. and two. And the pitch. No oh, offer at the curve that time, and it's knotted up at two and two. And that's taken high for a ball. It's full now, three and two. Garrett Blocker would be next if they can keep this inning alive. Now the three and two pitch. Hit hard to short. Scooped up. And the throw pulls the first baseman off the bag, and he's safe at first. Man, there's just no excuse for a middle infielder to make a play like that, especially your shortstop. Looked like a routine play, but for some reason, he just pulled the first baseman off the bag. It happens, but you never want to give a team extra outs. Stepping into the box, Garrett Blocker. Day off for him yesterday, but back out there for this one. 
First pitch of the at bat on its way. That's a ball. Fastball just misses. That's ball one. A runner on first with two away. And he won't bite at that one either. It's two and zero. Oh. Fouled off. The two one home down the left field line and deep. And that will end up a foul ball. The two two. Now a throw over and a dive, but he's back in there. Two out with the man at first. And again a throw and a dive, but he's back. Steel. He's running. Pitch inside the throw is well behind the play. That's an easy stolen base. Well, they threw over there multiple times thinking he was going to try to swipe that bag. So they were onto him, but he just waited it out and took off when he had the chance. Nice job of base running there. He's set. Here's the three and two. Popped him up. Austin is there for it. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. Uh, hitting an error in the inning, but they failed to score. We'll go now to the top of the third. Arkansas is out in front here, two to nothing. Settling in now, Curtis Washington. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. One of the keys to securing a win. They want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. One ball, no strikes to count. And that's right there, and we're even at one. High and wide, two balls and a strike. The 2 1 is up in the zone, but below the letters, apparently, for a strike. Swung on in the dirt, strike three. And the throw is there to record the first out. Now batting. Into the box now, Matt Goodrich. He drew a walk his first time up. Here it comes. Oh and one. Now here's the pitch. And it's one and one. One out, nobody on. Hey. Taken, called strike two on the inside part of the plate. One and two now. That's Fastball it. well outside. <laughs> and a swing and a miss and another punch out here. Six already, and that's out number two. He's really on a roll right now on the mound. Back-to-back -back strikeouts to wrap up the last inning. And now he started this frame with the same story. Four straight strikeouts in all. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Herman Kurowski stands in as he looks at a called strike. Shocked he didn't let it fly right there. Usually you're looking for a fastball elevated to get the party started. Now a splitter and he lays off a ball and a strike. Bases are empty here with two men out. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Now here's one hit in the air to the right side. Floyd is there and the side is retired.
Leading off the inning, Patrick Sullivan, as they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. Sullivan. First delivery to him on the way. In there, no balls and a strike. Hey, love the pitcher attacking the zone right here. He knows he's got a patient hitter at the plate. Might as well steal that first strike. Check swing, but he held up in time. Ball one. Hey, this guy's nasty on the mound. And to check swing and not chase that one, puts himself right back in the count. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. At the knees for a called strike, and it's back to even at two and two. Two balls, two strikes, a crucial count for both pitcher and hitter. So, Dan, what was your approach on the mound in that count? Do you still pitch for the strikeout here? Action pitch right here, 2-2. Two, two. Oh, and he has some trouble with it. And they'll have no play as he reaches first base safely. Batting ninth, the second baseman, Buddy Roy. In now, Buddy Floyd, as he'll pick on the first pitch and line one back up the middle, and that's a base hit. Nice piece of hitting right there. Didn't try and do too much. Fastball, the middle field. cut, Number places it right back where it came from. Ben Anderson. Stepping up to the plate, Ben Anderson, and he's looking to make something happen here with two on and nobody out. Well, early in the count, expect him to look for a ball to drive. If he gets two strikes against him, he'll need to change his plan and focus on moving the runners up. This game is too close to get greedy. First pitch on its way. Ball one, one no strike. Now the 1 0. Oh. A swing and a miss, strike one. One ball, one strike. None out, runners at first and second. Looked yeah, like the ball. fastball got one away strike. from him there. It's ball two. A time to start making some quality pitches. He finds himself in a tough spot behind an account with guys on base. tapped out in front of home and he indeed yeah. takes only the out at first as the runners move to second and third with one away now now batting shortstop Cam Shepard now at the plate Cam Shepard as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield From the belt, kicks and deals. And he'll take strike one on the fastball, registering at 93 that time. This is a situation where you have to step out of the box and tell yourself, my job is to get the runner in from third. It'd be nice to gap one and get them both in, but you want to take a little pressure off you offensively and just focus on being productive. The 1-1 pitch. Lifted in the air out towards left center. Catch is made deep in the alley, and here comes the runner from third. Now the relay home, and they are on the board with the sack fly as this is now a two-to-one game. Coming to the plate now, Chauncey Rogers. He flew out in his last at-bat. Here's the first pitch to him. There's a fastball well off the plate for a ball. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. Aye. A ball and a strike. Now a swing and a ball chopped foul right at home plate.
A one two pitch high in the air down the right field line but this will wind up being a foul ball. Here's the one two. I got to count two and two. And an off speed pitch swung on and missed and with that the side is retired. So a run on two hits, no errors, and a man left. On now to the top of inning number four. Arkansas leads it two to one. So striding in, Casey Martin. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Now the pitch. First pitch of the inning is taken low and away for a ball. It's one and oh. And this winds up inside for a ball. 2-0 and now. You can see this guy's more focused at the plate right now. In that first A-B, he went down on strikes. 3-0 and oh now. Kind of frustrating as a pitcher when you start an inning off with three straight balls like he has here in the fourth. Makes you start wondering what's going on. Taking all the way, it's three and one now. Four pitches, all takes. He's showing a lot of patience here. And I like that from a guy like him, Matty. He can do a lot of damage on a base pass with his legs, so there's no reason for him to get overly aggressive if he's not getting anything to handle. Swing and a miss, and they'll come all the way back from 3-0 to punch him out. One away. Leading off the inning, your job is to get on base and set the table for the inning. That was a pretty good at bat, and that he pushed the count to 3-2 and two and made the pitcher work, but I think he'd like to have that 3-2 pitch back. Pretty sure that was ball four he went after. Stepping in now, Casey Ortiz. And a swing from him yields a foul pop out of play to the right. Perhaps he can drive another one out of the park just like he did back in the second. Right side, but it's well foul. Fouled away. And on 0-2, he misses with a fastball. To two balls and two strikes now. The 2-2. Not what you want to do on the mound. Go from 0-2 to 3-2, but credit the man in the box for being patient, even with two strikes. Swing and a line drive. But this will land foul as he didn't miss by much. The next 3 2. Again, he sends it out of play. I know the fans love the souvenirs, but the battle between the pitcher and batter right here is what makes the game great. Weak rounder back to the mound. And there's out number two. And the plate, Christian Franklin. He went deep in his first at bat. We'll see what he's got in store for us here. Now here's the pitch. The cutter runs outside. Ball one. A ball and a strike. One and one. Boy, this guy's got it going on right now. He's executing everything. He should feel pretty good. He's retired seven in a row. Hit hard back up the middle. That's through for a base hit. He's now two for two in this one. 
Kind of looked like he had gotten his bearings there. Dan was going to have a one, two, three inning, but not the case, giving up that late two out knock. Boy, this lineup is so deep, one through nine. They can put a hurting on you, and they're making him work, and he's given up a lot of base hits so far in this one. So far, this has not been an easy one for this pitcher. And a dive, but he's back in. Standing in now, Robert Moore. Pitch misses low. The throw down. And he is out at second. Caught stealing to end the inning. Another look at the throw down that results in a third out on the bases. Back with more of this Thursday afternoon business person special following this. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. And coming forward, the rookie outfielder, Turner Bradley. Turner Bradley. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And a pitch down that swung on and sent to second base. And a good throw gets him one gun. The designated Striding in, number Ramon four. Jernigan. Ramon Jernigan. First pitch of the at-bat. Watches a fastball right there for strike one. Fourth inning of a two-to-one ball game. Lifted down the line in left. And they can't run it down. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. Oh. Changes up on him there, but it's 1 and 2. Great arm action on that two strike change up right there. But even better job at the plate to take that one. Changes up on him, but that's in the dirt for a ball. Hey, expect a challenge right here. Does not want to run the count full. Bases are empty, one man out. 2-2 two, two pitches fouled away. Hey, last two pitches back-to-back -back off speed, then he's late on the fastball. He could pretty much do anything he wants right here on the mound. And he'll just get a piece here as this is chopped foul at home plate. The 2-2 two, two, one more time. Full count, three two. He can only battle for so long as he's finally set down here after an eight pitch at bat. Now, now to the back. play, Cade the Fowler. Cade Fowler. Here comes the first pitch. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. Two out, nobody on. Up the middle. He's got it. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as the side is retired. Now in the box, Robert Moore. He'll swing Lead it from the left the side the right here. Loves hitting left-handed off for right-handed pitchers. Hitting Moore. over 300 against right-handed pitching. Now a bunt attempt here. And it's fouled away. He's ready. Here's the 0-2 pitch. And he fouls this one off. Hey, three foul balls in a row right here. Searching for that put away stuff. Ball. Fastball just misses. That's ball one. Weekly hit towards first. Reined in. And he'll step on first himself for the out. The third base, number five. Now with the plate, Jacob Nesbitt. 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 Here comes the first pitch. In there for strike one. Aye. 
lifted down the line and left. And this will fall, but it's a foul ball. Trying to send him packing for the second time. In the air, out to right. Long run for the right fielder. He gets there and makes the play for the second out of the inning. Now batting. The first base. Standing in oh. for Austin. Austin. First pitch coming. Here it is. Oh, and that misses fun. one and one. Fouled off. Fifth inning, two to one our score. Slow little grounder left side. And the off balance throw gets him as he takes away a hit and the side is retired. So they breeze through this half of the inning. Home half of the fifth coming up. Arkansas is out in front two to one. Set now for the bottom of the fifth, and standing in is the rookie third baseman, Garrett Blocker. Blocker. First pitch on its way. That's a ball. After watching that one go by and a ball being called, you can rest assured he knows he's not getting away with another one of those. I guarantee you he's going to be aggressive on this next pitch. The 1 0 home. Hey. Pulled toward right center field. Kurowski moves to his right and puts this one away in the alley for route number one. Now batting. The Ready first now, base Patrick base. Sullivan. Patrick. Sullivan. Here's the first pitch to him. Hey. Now the 0-1. Hard hit ball to second. And a reach to his backhand side at second, but this finds a way by. Nice execution right there, Dan. Kept his front shoulder in. Kept his hands inside the baseball and ripped the base out of the middle. And if you're a pitcher right there, you can't get discouraged. Sometimes even when you make a good pitch, the ball is going to find a hole somewhere. That one right up the middle. Into the box now. Buddy Floyd as he'll take a change up here for strike one. Hits are now even at four apiece. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Left fielder is on the move. He gets there, and that's the second out. Ready for another shot now. Ben Anderson. Ben Anderson. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Off the plate, ball one. The 1 0. Hey! I got a ball, one strike. That's ball two. Sent on the ground out to second. And a close play at second, but the throw does beat him, and the side is retired. Kana Tatum takes over to start the sixth inning on the mound. Kana Tatum.
Top half of the sixth about to get started. And digging in is the rookie designated hitter, Curtis Washington. Curtis. First pitch of the at bat. Washington. Yanked on the ground down the line. And a reach to his backhand, but he can't come up with it. And the leadoff man's aboard. Nice execution right there. Ball was down below the knees. He now stayed through it and was able to drive it for a base hit. Matt. Good rip. Before the first pitch, a hey. check at first. And he'll dive back in safely. At the plate now, Matt Goodrich. Pitch out, nothing doing. bag and he has to dive but he's back in easily Brendan Webb will have to get loose in a hurry now as she'll come in and run following the injury. Count even now at one and one. From the stretch. And look out as that one ran in and got him. Well, I bet the manager breathed a the sigh of relief when he saw he wasn't hurt that badly. Oh, the last thing they Don't can afford to lose is a guy like that for any length of time. Ready once again, Herman Kurowski. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Hey. Little traffic on the base pass right here, but one pitch away from getting a double play and getting right back into control. Oh, one, here's the pitch. Nope. Ball one as he lays off below the zone. Low scoring game thus far, two to one here in the sixth. That's in there on the outer half, one and two now. Open to send him packing. Pitch on its way. And this is swung on and missed. And boy, they took care of a key man there. One away. That's a pretty impressive pitch from a young Good arm like that. Pitching. If you could spot your pitches Marcel. there and advantage counts like one and two, you're going to have a lot of strikeouts and soft contact. To the plate now, Casey Martin. Now a swing and he pops him up. And I believe, yes, the umpire signaling for the infield fly rule. Casey Ortiz will stand in here hoping to duplicate what he did back in the second inning as we flash you back to take another look at his solo home run that helped get this offense rolling. Looking to keep this a one-run game, the pitch. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And nearly a three-run shot. Instead, it's a foul ball. Nope. And he misses with it one and one. Hey, that backdoor breaking ball just missed. He had a chance to run it to 0-2. The set and the 1-1. One, one. Called strike on the inside, and he can't believe it at the plate. It's 1-2 and two now. 
Hey, it's looking like he may be able to get out of this one after giving up two singles early. Line drive base hit. Webb rounds the corner and is headed home. He's in at second safely. As also on the play, a run comes Better across field. to score. Pretty and good. he's one rookie that's not Pretty afraid good. of the moment. That's his second knock of the game. This one a double, and he looks like the type of player that knows he belongs. And the first base open. It looks as though they'll go after the next guy with the force at any base now in order and two men gone. The batter number one. Second base. Ready for another chance. Robert, Robert Moore oh. as the switch hitter will take his cuts left-handed here. Really doesn't matter what side the plate of this guy bats from. He hits very well. He hits right-handed pitching very well. Swinging left-handed and swinging from the right side against lefties. The numbers are quite the same. This guy flat out can hit from either side. So important getting ahead with the bases loaded. Already a difficult situation, so you don't want to make it any harder by falling behind in the count. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. Two out, bases loaded. That nibbled the corner there, but missed two and one. It often becomes harder to hit the zone when the pressure starts to heat up. Oh. Never tempted to swing at that ball down low. It's ball three. You fight so hard to get into these type of counts. You can't let this pitch get away from you. You have to keyhole something middle of the plate. And it misses ball four, and that will force home a run. Man, when you're trailing, you hate to give up any runs, but walking one in is especially painful. Now the lead is extended, and a base hit could blow the lid right off this thing. Stepping into the box, Jacob Nesbitt. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ballgame. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. They'll try and entice him with a high fastball, but he wouldn't commit. It's ball one. He's already walked two in this inning already. This guy just can't seem to find the strike zone. Now a ball lying toward the gap in left center. He lays out for it, but he can't pull it in. And to score is the runner from first. It's now seven to one. Base is loaded, and he was looking to drive them all in the, the second he stepped into the box. Whoa. Puts a big swing oh, on this yeah. thing, and the ball just gets down to the wall, allowing everyone to come around and score. He'll take a three-run double every day of the week. Your Will attention, Childers please. gets the call to pitch here, and he'll try to Real. sort this mess out. He's going to try to at least eat a couple of innings for his guys. Into the box, Cole Austin, and it's grounded just foul down the line. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. Ready with the 0-1. Unable to find the zone with the slider. Two out here and a runner at second. Drilled to the right side. And that's through into right field for a base hit. Now batting. Designated hitter. Brendan. Well. And outside target here. And he hits it for strike one. Here comes the 0-1. Don't know what he's waiting for there. It's 0-2. Boy, this is one of those ABs you like to hit the rewind button on. Put himself in a tough spot now, hitting with two strikes. And he couldn't get him to chase the 0-2 fastball. It's 1-2.
Runners at the corners, two men out. Now a hot shot here that'll be caught behind the runner at first. Almost big trouble there, but he'll wind up stranding two as the side is retired. All in all, ten men come to the plate and five score. Two, three, and four do up in the home half of the sixth. The Razorbacks are out in front, seven to one. Leading off for the Bulldogs. That's Stepping in, Cam yeah. Shepard. He hit a sack fly Shepard. earlier. This one doesn't look good so far. Down by a boatload as we enter the middle innings. It's about time they get something going. And the last thing you want to do is fall behind where you have to score a bunch in the eighth and ninth inning. Throw on to first, and one shortstop grounds out to the other, one the away. Back. Number 20. So digging in now, Chauncey Rogers. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. All one. Man, this guy's all had their one, number one. all game long. Up, down, in and out. He's pitching very well. One out, nobody on. Popped up. Nesbitt shading to his right. Two gone. Now battle. So now it'll be the four-hole hitter, Turner Third Bradley. Round. One for two on Bradley. his line so far in the game. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Bases are empty here with two men out. And a fastball way off target here, and it's even at one. On the ground to the left side. And there's a base hit as that gets through into left. Now batting. The designated hitter. Ramon. Yernigan. So now to the plate. Ramon Jernigan. As the first pitch misses to him. It's ball one. He's hitless in his two at-bats so far. The 1 0 home. 1 and 1 the count. And he gets him to pop it up on the right side of the infield. Austin has got it, and the side is retired. So no runs here on a base hit, no errors, and one man left aboard. Seventh inning coming up. Arkansas is on top, 7 to 1. All set for the start of the Lead inning, and the that'll bring forth the rookie the outfielder, lefty. Matt Goodrich. Matt. Goodrich. First pitch on its way. And that swung on and missed for strike one. Beautifully thrown splitter right there. High 80s down in the zone. Looks like a fastball coming, and then boom, the bottom falls out of it. Terrific pitch. Oh, one pitch on its way. Yep, that ball Goodrich, originally from the state of Connecticut. This is his first year at the big league level. One and two one now. Ball, two strikes, the count. Uh, trying to pick up that outside corner, but this misses, and it's back to even at two balls and two strikes. Hit to first. And he'll step on He's first up. for the out. Three unassisted. The right field. Now batting, Herman Jarowski. Herman Jarowski. First delivery to him on the way. Sends that one out of play for strike one. Bases are empty, one man out. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0 2.
Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. Got to take advantage of that pitch right there. 0-2 breaker hanging over the heart of the plate. Not going to see too many of those today. So he chased out of the strike zone on that one. Herman Kurowski is retired on strikes for the third time Casey tonight. Martin. Stepping in, Casey Martin. Here comes the first pitch. Count 1-0. Oh. Wouldn't mind the pitcher expanding the zone a little bit more and using his aggressiveness against them. Two out, nobody on. Now a swing, and the barrel of the bat breaks in two that time. Foul. Foul. Outside, two and one. Big sweeping breaking ball right there. Good pitch, but if he wants to get him to swing at it, he'll have to bring it in a little bit closer to the strike zone. The two one. He is swung on and missed, and that's strike two. Two and two. Bases are empty here with two men out. And he struck out again. That's the third time he's gone down on Ladies strikes in this one. Please join us for the traditional seventh inning stretch. Leading off the inning, Cade Fowler, and they'll need him to get something going here. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. Right-hander starts to loosen out in the bullpen now. The 0-1. Fouled away. Pitch on the way. Not a bad pitch there with two strikes, but it misses one and two. To two balls and two strikes now. Flip a coin right here with this next pitch. After throwing two fastballs to get ahead, he's been able to lay off both those off-speed pitches. Looks like he's seeing it pretty good. All even at two and two. Here it is. Hit down the third baseline. Fielded cleanly. Throw, and he's called out on a close play at first. Now batted. Digging third in, baseman. Garrett Blocker. Garrett. It's been an 0 for 2 Blocker. effort for him to this point. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And, oh, looked inside, but that's oh, ruled as strike. Nothing in one. Well above the letters with the fastball that time. One out, nobody on. And it's fouled away. This one's outside. Quite a bit off the plate that time. Now a swing, and he gets him to pop it up. Martin ranges back, and he has it for route number two. Now batting. The Digging in and looking for more. Patrick, Patrick Sullivan. He Sullivan. singled his last time up. First pitch of the at-bat. Ball one. Two out, nobody on. Two balls and no strikes. Well, he's having a good amount of success here, Dan, even though he hasn't really gotten a ton of swings and misses. Yeah, it amazes me how every game you pitch can be so different, Matt. Sometimes it feels like guys can't touch you and you're just punching everyone out. But other times, you don't have your good stuff and you really rely on movement and location to get outs. That's been the case for him today, and it's really working. Hey, he's had great command all day. Want to see how aggressive he is in the zone with a three-ball count. 
And this one misses inside a ball. He walked him, and they've got themselves a two-out base runner. As we look at the numbers, we can see that he's north of 90 pitches right now, so it's not surprising to see him maybe losing a little bit of command. We'll see if he can battle through this and finish strong. Here comes Bob Melvin out of the dugout on his way to the mound. And a change is in the offing as that'll be all for his starter this afternoon. So his final line will show six and two third innings pitched. He was very effective out there, no doubt. Your Will McElroy takes over pitching now, duties, looking to get that final Will out now here in this seventh McElroy. inning. Buddy Floyd will be the first to greet him here as he stands in with a runner at first and two away. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. And here's a fastball called for strike one. Ball one. A runner on first with two away. And this runs inside, and that looked like it got him pretty good. The center fielder, number four. Digging in now, ben, ben Anderson. Anderson. From the stretch. 1-0. One and no delivery. This is pulled into right. And the two out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. Michael Polk comes on to pitch now, hoping for better results than the other arms that they've run out there in this one. Into the box now, Casey Ortiz. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. Well, he got a good pitch to hit last time up. Looked for it up in the zone and didn't miss it. Those are the pitches you only get maybe once in AB, maybe once a game, maybe once a week. So he certainly capitalized on it last time. Now a swing and a chopper foul right at home plate. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. Hit on the ground out to short. Throw on to first in time, so the leadoff man is set down to open up inning number eight. The center field. Digging in, Christian Franklin is off to a fast start in this one. Two for two, including a home run. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Down the first baseline. He's ready. Here's the 0-1. Oh, and he's got to be more disciplined here. It's 0-2. And, and now a left-hander will start to get ready in the bullpen. Bases are empty. One man out. And he'll try and tempt him with one in the dirt, but he'll hold back here. It's 1-2. and two. Boy, he sped him up in this at bat. Now it's time for the changeup. This guy's got a good one, and he hasn't thrown it yet in this at-bat. One and two, here it comes. And they'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. Hit on the ground out to short. Throw on to first, two gone. Now, back. now with the plate, Second Robert team. Moore. Robert Moore. 
First delivery to him on the way. Left side, but well foul. Bases are empty here with two men out. Behind 0 and 2 now. Off speed pitch in the dirt as down. he takes it for a ball. Well, that's a smart miss there. Sometimes guys will chase it down there, especially when they're in protect mode on an 0 and 2 count. Popped him up. Floyd waits on it. Makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. Bottom of the inning now. And coming Leading forward now the is the shortstop, Cam Shepard. Shortstop, Cam Shepard. First pitch coming. Here it is. And this ball's going to find the seats down the left field line. Foul strike one. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. Ball now a fastball that's time. taken close that time, but it's one and one. Swing and a ball hit out toward right center. Right fielder is on the run, but he won't get to it. And this should put a man in scoring position to start the inning. And he'll pull into second here with nobody out. Nothing fires me up more than watching an offensive player stay inside a baseball and drive it the other way. In now, Chauncey Rogers. He swings and hits it foul off to the right and out of play. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. Line drive, base hit. And the runner from second is in to score. No mistake what he was sitting on. Fastball, middle of the plate, now kept that. his hands back, no stayed through the baseball, and Turner. delivers a hard hit line drive. Bradley. Standing in now, Turner Bradley. Fastball, and oh, he has to bend out of the way of that one. So far, two for three in this one. The 1-0. A swing, and this ball is blasted to right field. Nothing's going to keep this one in the ballpark. And out of here. And I mean by plenty. That ball was crushed. A two-run blast to straightaway right field. Home run number three here in the early going. And it's now a 7-4 ball game. As a hitter, that feels so good. The previous pitch ran in on him, trying to get him off the plate. But the next pitch, he mashes it out of here. Goes to show you, can't intimidate him. Ladies Marshall Denton is on the pitch complete. here in the eighth with nobody now, out. Marshall Denton. Into the box the now, Ramon Jernigan. Ramon. As he will look at a first Jernigan. pitch fastball for ball one. He could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. Yeah. And a fastball in there for a strike, 1 and 1. That's the exact spot to lean on as a reliever. As a hitter, you just have to tip your cap and look for the next one. Three runs already home here. Oh, 
high in the air down the right field line. But this is going to wind up a foul ball. The one two. And here's a ball lifted back toward the stands in right. So we'll try it again at one and two. And he fouls this one off. Another one two delivery. Swing and a screamer, but this one's not going to stay fair. Both teams with eight hits in this one. And he lays off it to even the count two and two. Everything this guy throws moves, and that two seamer has a mind of its own. Skied into straightaway right. Right fielder is on the run. He gets to it and makes the catch for the first out. Now Sliding into Ketcher. the box, Cade Dave. Fowler. Fowler. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Not oh, close with the off-speed pitch taken for a ball. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. Still only one out in the inning. Too high, and it's 3-0. and oh. Garrett Blocker waits on deck. And this is nowhere close, and it's a four-pitch walk. Whoa, you know a pitcher is the really fighting base, himself when he misses 24. his own by that much? Garrett. I'm surprised the catcher Walker. could even bring that in. So stepping in, Garrett Blocker. First pitch of the at bat. Hey. Comes set and the 0 1. Here's a swing and a high pop-up. Drifting toward the third base dugout. Nesbitt is over and he tucks it away for the second out. At now the plate, Patrick Sullivan. Already Patrick. two for two. He'll look to add on Sullivan. right here. First pitch coming. Here it is. Now the one and one pitch. Oh, that cool. Two out with the man at first. And he can't catch the corner here, so he's behind three and one. Well, tying run on deck, he should get something really good to hit right here in a three-one count. I'd be sitting on a fastball middle in. Strike two up in the zone. Three-two, two out, runner on first. Lots of possible outcomes on this pitch. And this one runs in on him as he can't get his arms extended. A great pitch there, and the inning is over. But they strike for three in the inning. Two on this two-run home run. Ninth inning coming up. It's now 7-4. to four. All set to start the ninth in this one. And set to go as the third baseman, Jacob Nesbitt. Jacob. Nesbitt. First pitch on its way. Ah.
Your Landon attention, Smith please. comes in unexpectedly now, from the pen Brandon. in relief of his injured teammate. Yeah. The wind up and the 0-1. One ball, one strike. And think about it. In game one of this series, they've already had to go deep into their bullpen. This could affect them for the rest of the weekend if they don't get really good starting pitching. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. All even now, two and two. Rounded to the right. He's got it. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Now batter. Stepping the up now, Cole Austin. Cole Austin. Here's the first pitch to him. Hey. Taken, and that one catches the bottom part of the strike zone. Curveball that bounces up to the plate. It's one and one. Fouled off. One out, nobody on. That misses, and we're even at two and two. Speed pitch, and there is strike three called. And boy, that zone just got a bit larger, two away. And with strike three the recorded bat, there, eight. he's notched his Definitely first it, career yeah. major league Brexit. strikeout. Well, yeah. Matt, if he can become a consistent strikeout pitcher, you have to figure his career is going to end up being a solid one. All the best pitchers at this level have at least one pitch that they can go into in tough situations. So we'll see if he becomes one of those guys as his career goes along. Digging in for his second at bat, Brendan Webb. First pitch of the at bat. Ball. Count one and oh. Looked like the fastball got away from him there. It's ball two. Now the 2-0 home is an off-speed pitch taken for a ball. Matt Goodrich would be next if they can keep this inning alive. Two out, nobody on. And that misses as well. Ball four, so it's a four-pitch walk here. Three of those pitches were definitely out of the zone, but that last pitch looked pretty darn good to me. You're not usually going to get many favorable calls on 3-0, and though. You have to earn that spot. At the plate, Matt Goodrich, man at first after the two-out walk. From the belt, kicks and deals. And they pitch out here, but nothing's going on. Now the 1-0. Swing and a little blooper to center. Floyd ranging into the outfield. He gets there to make the play, and that ends the inning. So no runs here on no hits, no errors, and one man left on. 9-1-2 and two scheduled to lead off the bottom of the ninth. The Razorbacks lead it 7-4. to four. Your Sebastian Vermillier comes now, out of the bullpen to shut things Sebastian. down here in the ninth. Vermillier. Digging in once again, Vida. Buddy Fort Floyd. Georgia. He singled Your earlier, making him one for two Buddy. to this point. Hey, not impossible, but highly improbable. Even when you're at home to score three runs off a closer like this guy, they've got the work cut out for him. One ball, no strikes to count. The 1-0 and no delivery. Try to bunt his way on, but this has popped up. Vermillier is there, and he's got that all-important first out here to start the night. The better fielder, number 44. So the batting order turns ben over now and set to Anderson. go. Ben Anderson, 0 for 4 with a strikeout thus far. 
First pitch is a slider called for a strike. Bases are empty, one man out. Well, too much bite on the breaking ball that time as it's well off the outside. And he takes one off the inside corner for ball two. He's fallen behind now, three and one. Cam Shepard is on deck. Fastball is taken for a strike, and he runs it full three and two. Slow roller down the third baseline. On to first, and they're an out away. Two gone here in the ninth. Now batting. Stepping in and ready for yeah. another shot. Cam Shepard. He comes to the plate as the last chance for his side. Two out here in the ninth. Now here it comes. Whoa, Low for ball one. Hey. And he looks at a changeup in there. One and one. Bases are empty here with two men out. And he misses two and one. A little too tall that time. Three and one now. And there's a called strike two as now they're down to their final strike this afternoon. And he gets strike three called to end it here. And with that, this one is over. Yeah, that's what you want to do when you're playing on the road. Take it right to the home squad and get a win. Now the pressure is off. If they get one of the next two, the series is theirs. 7-4 the final finish today. The Razorbacks took the lead in the second inning and rode that until the very end. Paul Ramey takes the win on the mound, his second of the year. Sebastian Vermillier records the save, his second. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vasquez, and you've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. Fans, our final line score, first for the victorious visiting team, seven runs, eight hits, one error, they left five minutes.